Hey guys, I wanted to give you some instructions for your Zane's Trace final project. So, you've got a big project coming up. It's in two parts. The first part, um, you're going to be doing on your own. You have to go onto either Newzella or onto Google Scholar and find an article that relates to Zane's Trace. Now, I kind of did this for you when we first started this unit, where I found an article on... Um, growing up in poverty and, and then I led you into a story about a boy in poverty so for this we already read Zane's Trace now I want you to find an article that has to do with something in it there are a lot of different topics we've talked about involved in Zane's Trace and it's gonna be your job to find something that relates to it so you'll go on to Google Classroom and whoop, let me drop myself here on Google Classroom you'll see there is a whole if I can line it up right there's a whole section here just for Zane's Trace. Your first link here has the instructions. And I printed it out too. So if you need a printed copy, you can ask your sub if I'm not there. Um, again, you're going to choose an article. Now the article is going to be online, but I still want you to annotate. So to annotate, you're going to copy and paste important lines that you think you can use. Because what you're going to be doing is doing a CER writing two paragraphs using claim, evidence, and reasoning to explain how the article relates to Zane's Trace. So, two separate paragraphs. After you find your article, you can read it, copy and paste your evidence on the next link in Google Classroom, and it says Zane's Trace first draft. That looks like this. Online, this box is smaller because you're going to type in there. If you have a paper copy, it'll look like this. What you'll do is you'll insert the link in the little box on top, which is just the website address to the article that you found. After that, you can start copying and pasting important things from your article that you think you can use as evidence. Then, on the next section of the document, or on the other side if you have the paper copy, you're going to write your claim, which is introducing how the article has to do with the book, right? Then your evidence is all of the quotes that you think help relate to the book. And then your reasoning is how do those work together? Claim evidence reasoning, just like you do in science. After you do your first draft, that's when you're going to start your final draft. And your final draft is gonna be in paragraph form. And I do expect the same um, details as always, 12 point font, Times New Roman or Arial, okay? So the second part of your final is on the other part of the instructions. In this, you're going to create a either a Google slide presentation on one of the characters. So explain what they're like, how they change. Um, and on this, you're going to present it to the group. And I will have partners, so you're going to work in pairs. Everybody does need to present. It doesn't need to be very long, but you have to give a little bit of information on that character. So that's your final. Uh, good luck. Have fun.